You're only pretending I'm 40 because you're the same age as me and you don't want to be 50 either. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the video. As you may have seen from the title, I managed to fill the car with stuff at the weekend, but I only spent a pound on stock. That will be explained in the video. Um, yes, we went down to Bristol for our friend Carla's birthday and she set me a challenge. Well, she set both of us a challenge. Uh, we will explain that as we get into the video. It's going to be a bit of a bitty video. There's, there's, there's all sorts of bits from the weekend in there. Stick around to the end uh, if you want to see what we got up to on a bit of a night out. Stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> and this. <laughs> no, no, no. VAR, I can't do that. So yeah, there'll be some clips of the night out at the end, in between a bit of a boot sale challenge, and I'll explain how I managed to fill the car when only spending a pound. Well, hello there. Hi. We are in Bristol. This is not Andrea. No, no, I'm, I'm Nick's new wife. <laughs> but he's got to get his arms tattooed. That's the condition of um, the condition of the deal. This is how yeah. rumours start. Right? <laughs> this is how rumors they start. will believe this. This is how rumours start. No, we've come to Bristol because um, Carla is uh, forty years old. And VAT. <laughs> and VAT. And a bit more. Yeah. And uh, we're popping out to a boot sale, and um, you've decided we have to challenge ourselves. Yeah, we thought we'd have a bit of a car boot challenge. And then I'll explain the car full that I have. By the way, Nick's mail wife is in the car. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Packs under that lot. <laughs> so, so go on then, what are we doing? Challenge Mr Hills to spend a pound and he can buy one item for the pound and then we ha each have to sell that item and see who makes the most basically. So we're going to spend a pound each, sell our one pound item and see who is the better reseller of the two <laughs> of us. We've got about the same level of experience, right? about 20 years each year. Apparently. Yeah, about 20 years so, of experience each and we still don't know what we're doing. Only a pound. Yeah. Has to be a pound. One pound. We'll come back to you in a bit and compare. How do you feel? Um, like I need more sleep, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> Spent a pound, yeah. Not yet, no. No, me either. I spent all or nothing so far. Oh, I haven't bought anything yet, no. No, It was tempting to stay in bed, I'll be honest. I feel like I've not stepped anywhere near enough. Oh. Oh. 
And you can hear everything kicking all around the house and all everything whirring back into life. Yeah. So no idea what caused the power that bit hooked me up coming back on. <laughs> Same as the drugs that I bought with the jam. Looks the same. It's like, yeah, a Burton one. Okay. Is it worth picking up? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. What's well, that, I looked at the drugs and they weren't that great. Three pounds. Three pounds. Together. Two pounds. With, with the cups as well, yeah. It's a brandy open. Open it. Yeah. It's a brandy. It's a brandy, look. Yes, yes. Three, yeah? Oh, yeah, three pounds. <laughs> Struggling with the money now. Hang on, I've got it. Super. Okay, thank you very much. Thank right, you. Put it in your bag. Yeah. I need to find something for a pound. This trouble is almost more than a pound these days. Wow, yeah. Very strong. I really don't like that design. It doesn't, oh, doesn't no. appeal. Well, it's got a little chip on it. Yeah. Okay. How much are you asking? Ten pounds for that one. Ten. Okay. They're about forty new. I've just had to buy a new dice. That was six quid. For okay. Dice. That's fine, thank you. Oh, that's the big dogs, Jeff. Big dogs. Oh, 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 that started, that started. Waddington's blaster. I've had that one before. Mm, not quite. Ish.
There's a big car boot, lots of things to buy. And here's Nick Hill who has failed to buy a thing. Anything. Anything. Is, is that Jenkins? She sent me a challenge and now, now I physically I can't, can't buy anything. Yeah. It's true because Carla Jenkins is the best reseller. Well, we need that anyway. And you I'm are just rubbish. I'm just rubbish. Proving. Got anything good for a pound? Go on, go on. Go on, what can Nick have for a pound? Oh, there you go. Lovely. Oh, I, think, I think he'd love that. Oh, that's beautiful. Does that, does that suit me? Beautiful, of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's a full set, so you're the one to replace your, well, your full set. Oh, it's not you who had a full set, no, someone who had a I was trying to find bits to complete. Oh, right, them. yeah, but you don't need to know because you've got a full set. Yay! Happy well purchase, done. Sir. Thank you. <laughs> you've completed Enjoy. your challenge. <laughs> Right, we're back. back. Um, we forgot to explain why the car was full before we went to the boot sale. So if I just flip the view, we can explain what all of this stuff is. I buy too much stuff and I don't list it. And yeah. I buy stuff that I'm not interested in because I think it will resell. Because I can see the resale value in it, but because I'm not interested in it, I don't list it. So or it's going to be difficult to pack, so I don't list it. So and I have to have my house rewired, and my house was very, very full of stuff that I was really never, good. ever yeah. going to list and sell. Shush up in the background. Sorry. <laughs> so, so once a year, it's called the Carla Clear Out, and yeah. I turn up. Yeah, you're not having my purse on my phone, am I? <laughs> I can sell that for more than the pound. <laughs> yeah. So you have very kindly donated all of this to the tank cave. Yes, yeah, this yeah. is, I'm worried about the spaces that you've got in your stock, you see, you've got spaces in your storing. I've had one of these ugly beasts before, yeah. yeah. I look like an animated talking pal. I know. So hopefully that explains why I've got a car full of stuff. It's come from, kindly from Carla. Because you didn't actually buy anything at the boot sale. Well, <laughs> you saw that we set ourselves to spend a pound. Mm -hmm. By the end of the boot sale, I still hadn't spent my pound, but I went back and found that. What is that? Blue, Blocus? This is Blocus Duo. Oh, Blocus, okay. Blocus Duo. Uh, it's a board game. I've had it before, but the last one I have is incomplete. This one she yeah. told me is, in, is complete. Mm -hmm. So that's my pound item. It looks very much like the um, IQ game that I've got. Uh, yeah, oh. they're very similar. You might win. It might win. Well, I've okay. got to sell it. Yeah, I might be waiting forever. But yeah, that's that. Okay, so these are my one pound item. I don't know if I can actually hold them all. They are mm. Wallace and Gromit, which is fire at the moment, reselling wise. Anything Wallace and Gromit is going crazy. Is it? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. No idea. Um, probably because the generation that enjoyed Wallace and Gromit as a teen, as a, as a child, are now growing up and going down memory lane. So they're Wallace and Gromit, they are salt and pepper pots. I think they may be the ones that were given away with, I think it was Tetley Tea or something. No, no, Tetley Tea Tetley? was it? I'm not was it sure. Maybe it was, I don't know. But I think they were freebies, with, you know, but they're definitely collectible. I've got four, I've got, what's the name from the wool shop? Gwendolyn? Wendelin. Wendelin and Wallace and Gromit himself and Feathers the Penguin. Feathers McGraw. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to list these. That means I've got to get it listed quick. Yeah, yeah. Put in the comments below, do you reckon this random board game will sell for more than all four of these Wallace and Gromit what's Yeah, it? I will probably put these onto two listings, by the way. As well. <gasps> okay. I might put them on as one, I don't know. I'll, I will do my research. Might be close. Do my research. Okay. Anyway, we're going to wrap up here. Thank you for having us for the weekend. Thank you for coming. Thank you for taking away a car full of my stuff. Thanks There's actually pleasure. room in my stock now. I can actually move. And um, happy birthday for actually tomorrow. For tomorrow, yeah. 40 years young. 50. Oh. 50. You're only pretending I'm 40 because you're the same age as me and you <laughs> don't want to be 50 either. <laughs> I'm always going to be younger. Yeah, but not very much. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Carla. Thank you, everybody. Put in the comments below. Are these worth more than my random board game? Team Carla. Editing Nick here. Um, I'm going to put in the clips from the night out for Carla's birthday. Um, there's some pretty random stuff in there, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. I'm just going around the table. <laughs> Hello. Carla, say hi. Why are you so surprised that people want to take a picture of you on your <laughs> Nice. 
I look like a convict. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just lock that in. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Boo head now. Now, boo head. Could you call me boo oh. <laughs> Yeah, that works. <laughs> Squeeze in the back. I can't find the slot. I don't know if the slot. I don't know if the slot. I hope you enjoyed those clips as you can see we had a really fun night out thank you so much to Carla for hosting for the weekend um, if you want to carry on watching me I will pop one of my videos up here please check this one out thank you so much for watching take care I'll see you soon